Bishop, and I'm presenting on medical breakthroughs in imaging devices. So, have any of you ever broken a bone? Yes. yes. Yeah. All right. Well, if you have, then you might be familiar with images like these. These are x-ray images of uh, broken uh, tibia and fibia. And so my first form of imaging that I'm going to be talking to you about is radiology. It includes x-rays, CTs, and MRIs. So the x-ray was discovered in 1895 by William Roten. Um, it was an x-ray of a hand with a ring on it. It was very blurry because it was the first time and it was an accidental picture. So they didn't mean to take it. And um, the way it works is that light and radiation waves hit it. And the, radi the waves bounce off of the hand or whatever body part was imaging. And it creates a picture. Um, the images are, they come back on a black to white scale. So something that is more dense like bone and metal comes up white. And something that is less dense like skin or tissue comes up as like a darker lighter gray. Air is always black. And I got this from Medic Medical Imaging for Healthcare Provider by Teresa Campo. Also stated in that article, um, she went over uh, the CT scan, which stands for Computerized Axial Tomography. And it is also similar to x-rays where it uses light and radio, or, yeah, light and radio waves, excuse me. And the difference between a CT scan and an x-ray is the fact that the CT provides a 360 degree picture instead of just like one 2D picture. And you also have to take a contrast when taking a CT scan. And the last form of radiology is an MRI. It stands for Magnetic Resonance Imaging. And it is, it uses mechanical fields and, excuse me, yes, mechanical fields and radio waves to produce a picture. So the mechanical fields, radio waves hit the body, and it makes the electromagnetic resonance, excuse me, electronegativity of an atom. Um, it changes it, so it makes it spin completely a completely different way, and then the time it takes for that atom to s spin back on track is what then gets um, read by the computer, and then it produces a picture because each atom takes a different amount of time. Um, it also uses contrast, and the biggest thing with an MRI is it's safer for children and pregnant women because it does not use any harmful waves that could cause cancer. Um, this was also, this also came from Teresa Campbell. All right, so another form of imaging is on ultrasound. Um, it is, it was invented by Dr. Ian Donald, and it was invented in the 1950s. It was used in healthcare one year after. At first, it was used on animals. Um, the radio waves are sent out that bounce off the organs, and then they're read also by the same hand, the same uh, thing they use to put on your stomach. Uh, the waves go in through, one, go out through one side of the device and they bounce off the organs and then it's go, it goes through the other side of the device and then goes into the computer and the computer then transvers, transverts that into a picture. Uh, this was taken from successful strategies for integrating bedside ultrasound into undergraduate medical education by James Palma. And then my third form is laparoscopy. Uh, laparoscopy is one of the newest, most advanced forms of imaging. It is not um, just to look and try and decide what's wrong in the body, but it goes in and it actually does a procedure. So you use a camera, there's two incisions that are made on both sides of the stomach. And you use a camera and another handheld tool, and they both go into the stomach and it is a very nice, it's a lot better way of doing surgery because it is minimally invasive and it 
decreases the percentage for a um, after surgery like complication. It was pioneered by Philip Murray and the, uh, it was invented in 1902. It was first used in surgery in 1910. Um, and then a future, the, what we can use for it in the future is um, robots have been created just to do the surgeries on their own. So we don't even need a surgeon in there more like one instead of a big huge surgical team just to do this big huge surgery that used to take multiple surgeons to do. So that's a future.